Hi guys, this is Duncan from donksblog.com. Recently YouTube released a trends map showing the most popular videos that are being watched over in the US and it breaks it down by region. Now this led me on to a different topic. What's actually happening in the world right now? So I'm going to give you 18 different websites which cover various topics on what's going on in the world. I'll provide all the links in the description. Advanced warning, some of these may be laggy because there's a lot of tabs open and a lot of them are interactive. So let's go ahead and go to the first one which is tweetping.net. This analyzes Twitter for all the tweets that are happening in the world and then breaks it down by continent and as you can see you can see the total tweets the words that are being created characters the last hashtag the performance and also the last mention so that's pretty nice you can do, dig deeper if you wish to and it's a pretty good way to see what's happening right now so the next one is 1milliontweetmap.com this goes a little bit further normally it's a little bit faster than this but as I said it's quite laggy at the moment on my system uh, but you can dig further and you can see the filters here so you can dig by keywords or hashtags and go through that way and you can see since page load there's been a lot of tweets happening there's a heck of a lot of stuff that's happening so next one is trends map if you just want to see the trends around the world I know you get on Twitter the little bit at the bottom right that just says a few that's happening in your area but you can actually see this visually on a map you can see the breaking global news so I think something like Alex Ferguson has retired or something recently so this is really breaking all over the world right now and then you can see the users that are trending so you'll see the Man United press office is now the one that's being followed a heck of a lot so pretty cool stuff the next one is vinepeak.com. Now this is a bit strange. I don't understand the point of Vine just yet. This is where people upload, I think it's like six second videos and they loop. But this actually takes ones in real time, so I have no idea what it's going to play. I've not got the sound on at the moment, but it takes the real time thing, makes it into a channel. So everything that's happening right now, you see a few seconds ago, okay, that is very random. Uh, but people are po posting these publicly, so they're getting curated and put on vinepeak.com. Pretty cool if you're bored and just want to watch some random videos of things that are happening right now. Next one is uh, Wikipedia Vision. This shows the edits that are made by anonymous users on Wikipedia. Uh, as you can see, nine minutes ago, someone edited American Homeowner Preservation. That's really exciting. But it gives you an idea of what's happening on Wiki Wikipedia. There's always a lot of edits that are happening. I did also see, in relation to Alex Ferguson, that someone a while ago had actually edited the wiki for that too. So that's pretty cool. Now the next one is Mapstagram, and as you can see, my uh, I've expired my time here. So let's just continue. This cur curates all the different Instagram uploads. So we're targeting the social networks at the moment. Instagram uploads, uh, I think it might may be better for me to show you uh, if the page reloads. It takes it from Google and uh, makes a map for it. And you'll see, there we go, people uploading stuff to Instagram. Again, I don't know what this is going to show, but it looks like a lot of people um, are doing things like things like food they're eating, places they're visiting, dogs. Sounds pretty cool. So that is mapstagram.com. I'll provide all these links again in the description. Now this is real time tools. This is recent earthquakes in the last 24 hours. So you can see one is happening um, I assume right now which is Northern California 1330 UTC. Actually that was about two hours ago or an hour ago. And um, this gives you an idea of all the uh, areas in the world that are having issues in terms of uh, earthquakes basically so if you want to see all the troubled spots in the world this would be the website to go to next one is for traffic I didn't want to go ahead and load up Google Maps and show you the traffic thing on there this is Waze this is actually showing things in real time and it digs further if you haven't heard of Waze it's a uh, satellite navigation app that you can download on your phone and you can also post things like uh, if you see a speed camera, if you see a policeman, if you see any roadworks and things like that. So this actually tracks the speed of the cars that are going in the area that you're in and also any extra information you can see on the left um, in the area that I'm looking in which is totally random somewhere in the US I believe is seeing the average speed of a certain area is 20 miles an hour. So if you want to get even more real-time information than Google Maps for traffic and you're driving around this would probably be the best site to go to so you can see people moving around on here. Next one is uh, actually from Train Times. Uh, this is just for the UK. I know there's a lot of train time, train real time analytics sort of things, but I thought this was pretty cool. This is actually showing the London Underground. So just for those UK people, uh, it's taken all the details from TFL, the London traffic website, um, but 
London has 207 underground stations, so that's a really big network. It's a subway network for those of you abroad, and this is pretty cool to just visualize all these trains going around at one time. I think I tried to zoom in, which is probably a big mistake. But you can go ahead and click on each one and find out which station they're going to and blah, blah, blah. So that's pretty cool. If you want to extend that out and go to the UK trains, they also have a website here. Again, I'll provide links in the descriptions. And this shows the main line services that are available, mostly through the center of the UK. And you can dig down into which trains are going to go where. Uh, as well so it's a little bit better than looking on, on a departure board things like that you can actually see kind of visually where the trains are going and at what times so that's pretty nice so that covers the trains next one is boats so this actually covers all the boats that are in the world right now where they are so for example if I go to South Africa and click that one I can dig down into all the boats that got their names here too and the different types of boats so Crystal Marine here is a cargo vessel and it's around South Africa so that's pretty cool just to see the amount the sheer amount of boats that are around right now that are just either shipped or moving pretty cool stuff so what about the sky well flight radar 24 uh, as you can see is timed out uh, you can see it's got pretty much all the flights that are happening in the world right now so it has all the flight codes you can dig into it it's very nice looking once it loads uh, so for example DLH7PH or something it gives you an idea of the actual plane itself and the altitude the speed it's going so you can really dig into the information that's happening around the world it also gives you a nice little path which I haven't noticed before of where it's been so it's pretty cool nice to see that too so that's what's happening in the sky uh, also in the sky in terms of weather uh, I thought I didn't want to go through and find you a bunch of weather maps all over the world but this is just a pretty cool interesting interactive map that shows you the wind now obviously it's a little bit laggy because I'm screen recording I've got so many maps but it gives you an idea of well, the wind that's happening this isn't exactly real time it shows you uh, I believe this is about uh, one or two hours old but it gives you an idea of exactly where the wind is coming from where it's going and what to be aware of in terms of the miles an hour where you're living in if you're living in the US or just something cool to look at if you want so what about space well this is a uh, real-time satellite tracking so you can see the sheer speed that these satellites are traveling now if this doesn't really interest you you can actually dig into uh, what these satellites are used for so TV satellites GPS satellites uh, weather satellites, geostationary, all that sort of stuff, but you can see the sheer speed that this is going around. It's uh, pretty damn quick. So this covers the satellites again, you can dig into the information, so this is completely in real time, shows you the speed that it's going, things like that. Very nice. Okay, so we're going to dig into security now. This is from the HoneyNet project. Now, there's three websites I'm going to show you here, and uh, they all kind of function the same way. They have computers that are sitting there with software on them that are designed uh, for places to attack them. Now some of these use it just for research, some of them use it to uh, apply uh, for certain sciences. So for example this area, if I just uh, scroll down, you'll see that this is doing it all in real time. It gives you an idea of where it's coming from where it's going to. I know it looks a little bit like global thermonuclear war, uh, but you can see the red dots here are the places that are attacking. Now that doesn't mean that the actual country is attacking uh, certain computers uh, but more of where they're ge being geolocated to so through their IP address so there may be situations where um, it may just be a worm that's gone to certain computers or botnets or things like that uh, which are then attacking one place so you can see here that Germany currently is being hit pretty hard and the main reason is because most of their uh, uh, research or well, I think they've got a large network of, of what they call honeypots uh, available in that area so it's getting attacked by all over the world so it's pretty interesting to see all these different things that are happening all over the world it can even dig further than that with the trend micro which I'm sure you guys have heard of it's an antivirus or anti malware software and uh, this pretty much looks for all the botnets and shows you visually again in real time and gives you an idea of statistics botnet connections 2.1 million in the last 14 days so that's pretty uh, pretty interesting to take a look at and especially the areas that they're coming from again wouldn't be completely accurate but it's a rough idea of what's going on over the world if you want to dig even further than that 
this is interesting this is alien vault this actually sh shows you exactly what's happening from certain areas of the world so you can see an exploit kit red kit exploit kit landing page uh, these again run off the same concept apart from this is actually showing you the individual IP addresses I've even seen links in here I'm not sure if it will show up but um, it will show links of where these malware are found too uh, I think this is just randomly glitched and, and shown it too but yeah it's pretty cool to have a look again um, something to leave open and it would look pretty cool if uh, you're at work and your boss is there or something something like that would be interesting but uh, the last Last but not least is ufostalker.com. I thought I'd add this in because it's a little bit off the wall. Uh, this isn't exactly real time, but it gives you a rough idea over the past few days of uh, things that uh, people who have apparently seen UFOs. Um, I'm just going to let that sit for a while while I explain. So this shows you all the different areas. You can see the hotspot areas over in the US. This does stretch all over the world, but uh, you can see 44 around Chicago. So 44 s sightings of UFOs or extra terrestrial activity and uh, it digs into what people have seen so blue green ufo changing multiple directions and how and hovering so it's on you if you want to believe this or if you have your own ideas or agendas or if you've seen a ufo before i'm not gonna question that but it's uh, quite an interesting thing to see as well so that's ufostalker.com so those were 18 different websites on things that are happening over the world. You can see there's a lot of websites that curate this data and it's a great way to display it. And uh, feel free to check them out. I'll provide all the download links in the description. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.